Another curiosity in physics supporting the simulation hypothesis is the maximum speed limit in our universe, which is the speed of light. In a virtual reality, this limit would correspond to the speed limit of the processor, or the processing power limit. We know that an overloaded processor slows down computer processing in a simulation. Similarly, Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity shows that time slows in the vicinity of a black hole. Perhaps the most supportive evidence of the simulation hypothesis comes from quantum mechanics. This suggests nature isn't real. Particles in determined states, such as specific locations, don't seem to exist unless you actually observe or measure them. Instead, they're in a mix of different states simultaneously. Similarly, virtual reality needs an observer or programmer for things to happen. Quantum entanglement also allows two particles to be spookily connected, so that if you manipulate one, you automatically and immediately also manipulate the other, no matter how far apart they are, with the effect seemingly faster than the speed of light, which should be impossible. This could, however, also be explained by the fact that within a virtual reality code, all locations, points, should be roughly equally far from a central processor. So while we may think two particles are millions of light years apart, they wouldn't be if they were created in a simulation. Assuming that the universe is a simulation, what sort of experiments could we deploy from within the simulation to prove this? It is reasonable to assume that a simulated universe would contain a lot of information bits everywhere around us. These information bits represent the code itself. Hence, detecting these information bits will prove the simulation hypothesis. The recently proposed Mass Energy Information MEI, equivalence principle, suggesting mass can be expressed as energy or information, or vice versa, states that information bits must have a small mass. This gives us something to search for. Physicist Melvin M. Vopson from the University of Portsmouth, also the author of this story, has postulated that information is in fact a fifth form of matter in the universe. He's even calculated the expected information content per elementary particle. These studies led to the publication in 2022 of an experimental protocol to test these predictions. The experiment involves erasing the information contained inside elementary particles by letting them and their antiparticles annihilate in a flash of energy, emitting photons or light particles. All particles have anti-versions of themselves, which are identical but have opposite charges. Mr. Vopson has predicted the exact range of expected frequencies of the resulting photons based on information physics. The experiment is highly achievable with the existing tools, and they've launched a crowdfunding site to achieve it. There are other approaches, too. The late physicist John Barrow has argued that a simulation would build up minor computational errors, which the programmer would need to fix in order to keep it going. He suggested we might experience such fixing as contradictory experimental results appearing suddenly, such as the constants of nature changing. So, monitoring the values of these constants is another option. The nature of our reality is one of the greatest mysteries out there. The more we take the simulation hypothesis seriously, the greater the chances we may one day prove or disprove it. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.